in this section we'll distinguish cost accounting from financial accounting so we'll say what are the differences of cost accounting from financial accounting financial accounting deals with accounts of the whole business and covers all commercial transactions so it's not just cost accounting it is basically cost accounting management and sales and services everything put together it's the whole business and covers all commercial transactions it involves external accounting accounts shown to external parties so external parties may also be interested in um, financial accounting reports net profit and loss uh, and stock is valued at cost or market price whichever is lesser so financial accounting or financial accounts are the accounts of the whole business it uh, relates to all commercial transactions mostly financial accounting is concerned with external accounting financial accounts reports net profit and net loss in particular net loss and financial requirements in terms of funds etc here preparation of interim profit and loss account including balance sheet is not possible financial accounts definitely form part of double entry process with a view to prepare income statement and position statement which is the balance sheet of a firm the stock is valued at cost or market price whichever is lesser next we'll uh, take a look at what is uh, cost accounts cost accounts are only part of financial accounts cost accounting is concerned with accumulation classification presentation and analysis of cost for managerial control the cost accounts are normally broken down to unit basis in this accounts normally cost accounts deals with estimates and standards and signify internal transactions disclosing profit and loss of each product or unit the expenses that enter into production are reported in cost accounts and reveals wastages and idle time cost accounts normally does not follow double entry system they base it out of standard costing it is a continuous method of cost reporting mainly daily weekly monthly and yearly stock is valued at cost so this sums up what is cost accounts next what we do is we'll take a look at the industrial application of cost accounting so here what we see is we see basically three main uh, three big entities which is uh, involved in manufacturing so the first one is the center of production of factory where goods are produced the second one is uh, the suppliers where from raw materials are collected by the factory to make goods and uh, services and the third block is customers who would buy the finished goods from the factory so let us see uh, what all things are again involved factory when when it converts raw materials to finished goods uh, it would work with intermediate products in work in progress so they may work upon raw materials let's say if it is timber they may work upon timber and then uh, produces logs uh and fixtures and then that will be used for uh, finished goods which may be doors and windows wooden doors and windows so that is uh, that is a significance of work in progress so in this context uh, what is cost accounting so cost accounting uh, is deals with suppliers center of productivity raw materials work in progress stores if there are any but it won't deal with finished goods or customers sales and marketing actually does that job so that is basically what is this industrial application of cost accounting so fundamentally a manufacturing concern who manufactures goods finished products gets the raw materials from the supplier the goods that are made by the manufacturer are sold to customers so thus there is existence of a supplier for supply of raw materials to the center of production just as what we were telling goods that are manufactured at the center of production and customers who are interested in getting this of whatever is produced at the center of production would actually do and sales and marketing will be whatever will be functional in that aspect most of cost accounting happens in the center of production or in a manufacturing concern or a firm more typically in the purchasing department and stores and their interface with the raw material suppliers 
So these concepts will be further explained as we go on. Thank you.